Hey fellas, welcome to my playthrough of Cohabitation. I feel like we've been neglecting RPG Maker horror games for a while now. I think the last one I played was like two months ago, three months ago even. Um, I don't quite remember. It's going to be a long one. There's going to be a lot of reading. So if that's not your thing, there's your uh, disclaimer. <laughs> so let's not waste any time. Let's get in there. No more banging tunes, please. Perfect. This is exactly what I expected. I'm not going to play with my mouse. <laughs> but damn, is it faster. Huh. Can I run? Okay, I can. Um, yeah, so this is the game. Welcome to RPG Maker. Whoa, dude, I did not fucking do that. I did not. I, we have to go back, right? All right. No stupid bullshit. Hello again. Let's see. You are XM0124 of the Alkian's race. Longtime resident of, you guessed it, the planet Alkia. Furthermore, this big old colorful rock you call home rotates at a measly speed of 100 Alkian lengths per quarter Alkia day. Please don't make me say Alkia like a hundred times. That means your nights are few and far between, and last just as long as your wearisome days. How boring. It does, however, mean that your dreams are bloody crazy. I mean, you would know it better than anyone. You're in one right now. Hehe. <laughs> I look like a rat bird robot with like a mushroom on my head. Um, uh, who are you? My name is Som Somnus. Somnus? Somnus. You might have mistaken me for my brother, but if you see him, that means you're in a load of trouble. But anyway, it is strange for you to be the one asking questions. All I am is a reflection of your inner thoughts. Guess it makes sense, though. Given the rarity of nights, your species doesn't dream very often, and the dreams that do happen are all spaced out. In turn, your kin have failed to develop a dream sense when they sleep, and always regress into this same pitiful amnesiac state. Kinda cute. <laughs> Please don't call me that. When you think about it. But annoying for me, because I gotta explain this stuff every time. I digress. There's more important things to discuss. Listen. Things are about to shake it, get shaken up, buddy. Big time. Listen, man, what happened to your sense of professionalism? Don't call me buddy. I'm not your buddy. And I hate to say it, but the responsibility for it is going to fall squarely on you. I'll tell you about it in the next room. That reminds me. I have mango juice in a can. I hope you guys don't mind if I take a sip of it every now and then. That's fucking delicious. Hello again. Now, what is your name? I know. You are XM0124 of the Alkian's race. But I mean, what is your name? You know. Like, like my name? Yeah. What is your name? Make sure to select the input using the cursor. You can backspace with the escape key or by double tapping if you are on mobile. Eh. What is this fourth wall break? Uh, my name is Lod. Nice to meet you. I see. Laud. What an interesting name, man. <laughs> you. It's got an interesting backstory, too. Now, Laud, I must ask. Fuck me. Which of these beings best represents you? Hmm. Which anime character am I? I'm a pretty standard dude. Hmm. I want to say, it'd have to be this guy. Is this the being who best represents you? No fucking way. Let's try somebody else. Is this the being who best represents you? No. No. There's just no one here that's normal, is there? Jesus Christ. Uh... No. 
God damn it. At least make me a, a cute anime man. I guess I'll take this normal guy. <laughs> normal guy three. So be it. Ow. Now follow me into the next room. Now, this is the final room, I promise. I'm going to need you to tell me one last thing. Your species has no concept of a relationship, as far as I know. This would make sense, given reproduction is pretty much handled by a single queen. But still, I need you to answer this question with utmost attention and honesty. If you had a partner, what would their name be? What? You can't drop this on me? I don't know any women. Uh, I need like a default women name. Women name. Woman name. I don't fucking know. I don't... I have know three women in my life. One of them is my sister. Uh... Num, num, num. Let's 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 just go with let's go with <laughs> this. Let's go with Millennia, cause she's a baddie. Millennia, I see. For those who don't know, it's a uh, it's a really frustrating boss in Elden Ring. She heals every time she hits you, but she's also a baddie. In that, she's very cute. Now. Fuck. Don't do that anymore. Which one of these beings would be most likely to represent your partner? Um, let's see. Fuck, no. Not really. You don't have any redheads, dude. Um. I don't even know what you are. The only one that I could tell for sure is a girl is... <laughs> her? Yes, this is her. So be it. Alright, brace your ears. Listen, Laud. Whatever you prefer. We're approaching the end of the road. For this dream, anyway. And though you may soon wish you had never woken up, you, may you must soldier on. The fate of life as we know it dangles ever so precariously in your appendages. So, um... No pressure. So, uh, from what I remember, there are eight endings in this game. Eight fucking endings. And it's all determined by what you do. And what you say. So we're gonna do and say what I would do and say. What a strange dream. So, I thought I, I thought I chose what best represented me. Why am I still this robot thing? A terminal whose sole use is to monitor and maintain your sleeping pod. Above it sits a simple placard. XM0124. It seems like your front door is locked. Well... Is it locked from the outside? This is a computer. Oh, I guess it's important. Let's save. Sure. A terminal, blah blah. Your sleeping pod. With Alkia's day beginning, it has ran Awaken Protocol. Bright lights now shine on its inside. Unfortunately, that means you can't sleep in it for now. Okay, so what do you uh, what do you want me to do here? Unlock door. Your door has been unlocked. Jeez, talk about overdeveloped. Okay, so some people haven't woken up yet. Am I allowed in here? No. This is weird. I'm sussed out. What's up here? <laughs> Why is it so long? Who are you? XM0124. It took you damn long enough. Spent your sweet ass time cleaning your ear follicles, huh? Who are you? I can't believe it. My name is XM3-009, and you better get that straight. Good lord, your dream Nisha might be worse than I thought. Now it's got you struggling to retain your memories in the real world. Believe me, 
I had a way to keep my workers awake all at all times, it'll make things a lot damn easier around here. Damn, okay, dude. Insert capitalist joke. See, I'm not sure if you remember this, but I'm the general manager of Unit 17. This makes me the prime overseer of, among other things, Rations Bunker 17, Sleep Warehouse 17, and most importantly, Radio Tower 17, your location of employment. Uh, why is that important? What is my job? Radio Tower? What's my job? Gotta explain everything. You work to support that tower. It's grunt work, essentially. Cleanup, maintenance, and in this case, extraction. When it comes down to it, radio towers are the biggest hope for survival of our species. Say, do you even remember what the hole are? No. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. God damn it. Time is of the essence now, but I gotta sit here explaining things to Sleepyhead over here. Well, dude, you just wasted like a good 15 seconds just to say that. Just tell me what they are. Well, you should know. Alkia is home to not just one, but two intelligent species. There's us, the Alkians, but then there's another. They are called the Hole. Terrifying beasts, all of them. Though not quite as intelligent as us, they're twice as deadly. And they can only live in darkness, which means when night rolls around, they're on the prowl. These well-lit and well-fortified, well-fortified buildings, however, are a means to keep us safe during the night. But somehow, they found a way into the generators. What? That was a weird way to say that. But somehow, they found a way into the generators below our radio tower and destroyed them, taking over the tower in the process. Curse them. Been damn near a thousand Alkia rotations since the last attack of this scale. We thought the barriers around the generators would stop anything. To make things worse, because it's been so long, a lot of our military equipment has been decommissioned anyway. Not that it would make much difference at this point. So, maggot, I'm sure you see where I'm going with this. That radio equipment is our ticket to contacting a planet capable of fostering life and getting the hell out of here. So I'm going to need you to get in there, get our transmitters and receivers, and bring them back here. Do you understand? Yes, why me? What about other towers? I don't want to. I mean, if that's my job, that's my job. But I, I do want to ask, you know, what? why me? And also, what about other towers? So, why me? You, begun, you begin to come to the realization that all the open doors you saw earlier were other Alkians that have been sent out before you. What happened to them? Hmm. Do you understand the meaning of your own name? XM0124. That zero is there for a reason. Notice that it's less than the three in my name. XM3009. Do you know what that means? I'd imagine that means that you're above me on the hierarchy, but let's just say no. It means that you do what I want. I'll be honest. I've arranged for your rank to awake one by one and sent you all out in file. And nobody's returned just yet. But that doesn't matter one bit. What matters is, I just gave you an order, and disobeying orders is not what Alkians do. So, get going. The clock is ticking. I gotta start waking up the next in line in case you don't come back. Heh. <laughs> that look on your face. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Almost feel bad about sending you to face the hole, but... You know, that's how the world works. If your dreamnesia is really that bad, you can brush up on our history in the hole using our records library behind me. Believe me, maggot, you'll need it. I just unlocked my side door. Once you collect yourself, get your butt out of here. Oh, and take this. You obtained an earpiece, auto-translator. This is required for any Alkian who operates radio equipment. It uses machine learning to translate any communication it hears into our language. Only use it when you get to the receiver, just in case some miracle happens and we're connect contacted, but I don't want you to break it before then. Okay. Uh, is this the library? Oh my god. Uh, I, I think, I, I think, I think I, I got a pretty good grasp on what's happening here. Boost! A terminal whirs to life. 
next to the control pad. It is now daytime, free passage granted. Would you like to disengage the airlock? Yes! I'm gonna take a sip. I lied, it wasn't a sip. It was like three giant gulps. Oh, let's get off the sand. That blue exoskeleton. You're a 001 class, right? Shit. Don't tell any don't tell any double threes. Double O threes this, but I hate my job so effing much. Going out here with a gun. Hoping I don't accidentally step into an open hole mouth. Is this really all there is? At least I'm not as bad as all bad off as you are, heading to that blasted radio tower and all. Good luck out there, buddy. Haven't seen anyone return from there yet. Well, give me your gun. This, this soundtrack in this game is fucking banging, by the way. Makes me want to put that up instead of the, uh... Yeah, dude. Is this the radio tower? Did I just make it? You are unsure if you want to enter, but I have no choice. Holy shit. Are you okay, dude? Cough. Yuck. You're a 00, 001 class, right? I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told everyone else. Stay the hell away from here. But I know you're not gonna listen. Not like you have a choice, I guess. Cough. Yuck. I hear any 001 class that doesn't follow orders gets sundowned. Huh. I thought I would be spared from that treatment. Look at me now. A hole took a bite out of my midsection, and the only people sent in here are there to save the equipment, and not me. But that's to be expected on this goddamn planet, isn't it? No, there's no hope. I don't even know. I agree. We're effed, man. Um... These are all terrible. How about like, yeah, let me help you out, dude. I could just like, I, it's it's literally a 10 second walk from here to home. I could drag you back. Um, I don't want to say there's hope. I don't even know or we're fucked. We could choose to be positive. We could choose to be neutral or we could be losers. Um. There's hope, man, you know? There's... There's hope. No, there's hope. Hm. I used to be just like you, brother. But let me say this. Hope does not save one from teeth as large as my forearm. So, good luck out there. I wasn't expecting anyone to actually try and reclaim this place, so I put the whole thing on lockdown on my way out. Even broke the first floor lock mechanism. I'm sorry. But if you want any chance at getting to the transmitter on top, you'll have to fix that first. If only I knew that the 003s on top would have the gall to send an army to be slaughtered. God, yuck. Do I have to fix this first? The terminal begins to word a life next to the control pad, but it looks to be broken. It is now time free passage can be without approval of superior. Please contact for more assistance. You put your eyes inside the computer. Given what lies ahead, you have a strong feeling you should save your progress. What commands do you wish to execute? Well, fuck, we're, I guess we're saving. And then also... Unlock door? The front door to the radio tower has been unlocked. Alright, buddy. Good luck out there. I wasn't expecting one to... Blah, 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 blah. blah. I already... I already, I already that's that. Wish me luck. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> this is fucking scary! Uh... Alright, let's go up. The door is locked. Of course it is. It appears this was a door-locked mechanism, but it has been since been broken. You don't have the means to fix it. Well, I don't want to go left or right. Uh... Okay, let's go left.
This Alkian is long dead and half eaten. Looking at his exoskeleton, he must have been a soldier sent in here, like you. The door is locked. I'm fucking scared. I don't know what's over there. Oh my god, look at that thing. Oh! It's a fucking giant. Dude, this is Attack on Titan. I don't even watch that show. But I don't want to be seen by that. Let's, let's go this way. Am I not supposed to? Oh, fuck. Dude. Okay, so this is like, don't go this way, right? Yeah, no, this is definitely a don't go this way. I don't know where to go. Let's go in this door. Okay. Among the books here, you find a warning manual on dealing with whole invasions. It says, in the case of a whole takeover, keep these things in mind. First, whole are most active in the dark. When faced with a bright light, most of them won't even have the energy to eat you. Second, whole come in an endless variety of shapes and sizes. There are fast ones, ones that will chase you, ones that are blind, big ones, small ones, ones that just sit still all day. There's no way to predict what the whole will do. That brings us to my third point. Never underestimate them. Though they seem incapable of intelligent thought, there is a reason we have yet to wipe them off this planet. Don't become their next meal. It will only allow them to get stronger. There's nothing useful in the pile of trash, okay. Can't find anything else. Okay, I already read this. Whoops. You can't find anything useful here, you should look elsewhere. That's bullshit. <laughs> that means there's nothing in here at all. I don't want to go that way. No thanks. Okay, so we have to sneak past this fucking dude. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? I I was trying to get the repair kit in the closet next to that that thing. And it lashed out with its tongue. Hit me with such force that it damn near killed me. But it didn't even go for the finishing blow. That bitch must have ate so many of our brothers that all he needed was a little bit of my blood as dessert. So now, having gorged itself, it just sits there, blinking. You search through the storage unit. Something in the corner catches your eye. Repair kit. Get me the fuck out of here. Later. Fuck me, man. Can I go down and save? Ah, oh. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's get over here. It appears that this uh, blah blah blah, we can fix it. Do you want to try and fix it using your repair kit? Yes. It appears that you fixed it. However, it looks like you still need a key card A to use the mechanism. Uh, what? Is that in here somewhere? I'm, I mean, I'm not even going to bother with the other ones. No, I don't want the lights to turn off. Shit, man. I guess we have no choice but to go through the dark. Let's buy ourselves a little more time. <laughs> I hate it. I don't want it. <laughs> Why did he get so angry? I think that we need to make our move while the light is on, right? Because the light, when the light is on, that's when they're weakest, right? Oh, fuck. Okay. There we go. Locked. This Alkin is long dead and half eaten. Looking at his exoskeleton, he must have been a worker for the radio tower. You can see a key card. Oh, there we go. Peeking out of a pocket on his torso. Do you want to take it? Hell yeah. We got the key card A. Go, 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 go. Oh, thank God. And yes, we're going to save again. 
Are you kidding me? This is a nightmare, dude. This is absurd. You're sending us one by one? The door opened. Cool, what's this? There are some notes here. Would you like to read them? Yeah. This is XM1435 writing. Put the whole floor into lockdown mode. Can only hope it'll prevent the hole from getting any higher. If you wish to undo this, please utilize the switches on this floor. You can find which ones to turn by consulting an indicator light on the door and a manual that should be in one of these rooms. That is, if the hole don't get to you first. Godspeed, fellow Alkians. I will now prepare to make my escape. XM1435. Dude, right is always right, so... What the fuck? No, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. Such a weird thing. I guess that's when you're being chased. Door's locked. It seems you need keycard B. Gotcha. Well, as of right now, I don't have any real reason to, uh... Be too worried. Long and dead. He must have been a worker for the radio tower. You can see a keycard peeking out of his torso. Hell yeah, I'll take the keycard B. This Alkin is still alive! My keycard... Wait, you aren't going out there, are you? How did you even get in? I gotta go, dude. They were lying in wait, then, out there. I'm sorry. You are F-word. <laughs> Why am I being so... <laughs> Usually I would just curse all the time. You are effed! The Alkian is unresponsive. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Wait, what's down here? This looks to be a control panel for the stir. What the fuck is that? I didn't even read the rest of it. Is he gonna run back and forth in this hallway? He wouldn't. He won't. He shouldn't. Well, I don't see him. Well, I still need to go get that manual. Wherever that is. I think it's... Yeah. Go, 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 go. Where's the manual? There looks to be some instructions here. If the control panel indicator light is flashing blue, flip the blue switch into the on position and all others off. If the control panel indicator is flashing red, flip the red and yellow switches into the on position and all others off. All right, hold on, I gotta write this shit down. If the control panel indicator's light is flashing yellow, flip all switches into the on position. So if yellow, all on. You'll keep this information in mind. Well, I will now. Box of decommissioned radio equipment. This isn't what you're looking for. These must be the electronics that control this tower's transmitters and receivers. One of the lights is rapidly blinking, but you are unsure of what, what that means. What do you mean? We just read about it, didn't we? Man, this is fucked up because we haven't saved in a while, so... I'm a little... Oh my god. I wonder how many are in this room right now. That's the blue switch. But... That's the red switch, but... Fuck. It's right there. Where is the actual light indicator. Is it at the door? All the way at the bottom? I haven't seen anything flash anything. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. What is what is flashing? What is where is the indicator? Fuck me, man. Oh, okay, this might be it, right? No.
the control panel. So it is all the way at the bottom. Is it this? In case of lockdown, please consult the control panel next to the stairwell door. If the control panel indicator light is flashing blue, flip the blue switches, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I get it. If the control panel indicating is red, then blah, blah, yes. It appears the control panel indicator light is flashing red. So I have to turn red and yellow on and turn the rest off. That's yellow. And I, I just have to find red. I don't know how many others there are. Like, how many switches actually? Is it just three? They only mentioned... Oh fuck, is he following me? We'll just do a quick loop. Oh fuck! How'd he get over there so fast? I think that should be it, right? You unlock the door, yay! Computer? Computer? This Alkian is dying. Looking at his exoskeleton, he must be a worker for the radio tower. He doesn't have anything to say. Look, this Alkian is long dead and, I mean, Grick, and half eaten. <laughs> Looking at his exoskeleton, he must have been a worker for the radio tower. They're all half eaten, like they don't they don't finish their food, it seems. You put your eyes into the computer. Save game. Um what's e communications? Emails, I guess. Your key card isn't working on this door. Something strange is happening. Uh oh. What do you want me to do? Oh, fuck. The door is locked. Given how you just recently opened it to get in here, you sense that something may be wrong. Yeah. But, like, what do you want me to do about it? Oh, shit. Um. I shall also rescue. go with Lucky Brooks you. What are you? <laughs> I see. Something about snacks on Sunday. I'll put a uh, I'll put a picture on the screen of what I'm drinking because it is so good. Did I make it to the top? This is the radio equipment. The box should include a receiver and a transmitter. You finally made it. That noise. Something tells you it sounds a bit different than usual radio static. You've been told it has never happened before, but... Could it be a signal from another planet? You decide to put your put in your earpiece auto-translator. Is a message from the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, also known as... S-E-T-I. We write in hopes of making contact with another sentient species. We understand that this message may be hard to interpret, so... We will now relay what we call prime numbers as a universal show of intelligence. 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. We feel that will suffice as proof. Further transmissions will now... will include more such displays. We hope this message does not fall on deaf ears, and that new horizons will soon rise among the galaxy. That is all for now. This signal has been relayed as part of the SETI Institute. Location, University of California, Berkeley! You will find us in the United States, on a planet called Earth. End transmission. It looks like... For the first time in Alkian history, another hospitable planet has been found. But... What do you do now? Your e your earpiece auto-translator, having listened to their language, would be able to translate a potential reply back. 
but since their message traveled with slow-moving radio signals, it would have been sent from a long time ago. Our reply, on the other hand, would be sent with quantum teleportation and arrive instantly. Is the being who sent that message even still alive? You decide to stop this train of thought and formulate a reply. What will you say to the residents of this planet Earth? You should probably think about this first. This will be your only chance to be the first being to reply, and do so in complete privacy. As you see it, you have three options. In the first, you consider the risk of sending a reply to another intelligent species we know nothing about. No matter how good our translation is, you don't want our message to have any chance to be misinterpreted as a de declaration of war. To make things worse, you don't know how advanced the weapons of this race are, nor do you know how aggressive they can be. In turn, maybe you should reply with a simple neutral request that you mean no harm. On the other hand, once word of this gets out, there's no doubt your superiors will immediately organize a fleet to Earth. And if what they say about our race is true, it is doubtful that the residents of Earth are more advanced technologically than Alkians. Even if they wanted to mount a resistance to Alkian spaceships, it would likely be in vain. So it's the best course of action to be upfront with them and say that we are on our way. And then the third option, by that same coin, knowing that Alkians would try to mount a takeover of this Earth. This could be your only chance to keep the secret and prevent the residents of Earth from being wiped out. Come to think of it, there's a great chance that this society on Earth is better than the one on Alkia. You have lived your entire life under the thumb of a 003 class, always doing their bidding. And recently, you were just sent in to face certain death. Does such a thing also happen on Earth? Are the beings there allowed to flourish and given freedom, no matter their rank? You think that's not impossible. So, should you send a desperate plea for them to never reply, or send another message again, just so your superiors can't see that they exist? You should figure out what to say soon. Fuck. This is a heavy choice. Don't kill us. I don't think they could. So I'm not going to say that. We are coming to you. I want to say that the likelihood of Alkians defeating humans is very unlikely. And the reason I say that is because, I mean, if you can't deal with some like 12 foot dudes that run pretty fast, like... How are you how are you gonna take a 762 round from an AK-47, you know? Like sure, their teeth is the size of your forearm, but this bullet blows up concrete bricks, and you look quite squishy. You know what I mean? I don't I don't think we would be too worried about the Alkians. Especially not when they're coming to us, right? It's like by the time we actually get to them, assuming that it would take a reasonable amount of time. Humans would have way more than enough time to... to come up with a way to fight them. And even if they didn't, we're so resilient that I think a rebellion would kind of... There's just no way. Like, I, if we don't reply, Earth is, I wouldn't say, better, or, better off or worse off. If we say we are coming to you, that gives humans enough time to prepare for this arrival. And also, we save ourselves. And we do know that we might go to another planet and completely take it over. Um, so that sucks. But I do think that within this hierarchy that they have going on here... What is, who, who is to say that the 00s would ever listen to a 003 ever again? These are the soldiers and they have no freedom. They're sent to their death constantly, as we've seen. Like, all it would take is for them to show up and then be like, Yeah, no, I just, I didn't go to work today because I, I just didn't feel like it. They'd be like, what? <laughs> like, there's, they would join us in a heartbeat. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, we are coming to you. Give them time to prepare. 
make it fair on both sides. And then maybe we can come to like a, like a good, you know, equal resolution. You use the auto translator to pass your reply into the transceiver. In the process, you end up explaining who you are, what Alkia is, and what would happen if Alkians were to potentially come to Earth. You end by affirming that Alkian spaceships will embark towards their planet as soon as possible. And now, all that's left to do is wait. Did you make the right decision? I think I did. The name of the game is Cohabitation, so... Wah, a human! The bus was late again. Your boss is not going to be happy. Better not be any more late. And on the spirit of this anniversary... Ahem. You can sense how annoyed Professor... Elias is? I feel, is it appropriate to recall where our organization, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, began? See, 50 years ago, we sent our, to our first radio message into space. This is what he sounds like, like a fucking idiot. And it went a little like this. This is a message from the search for extra- I- we read this! Why are you on a table? Extraterrestrial intelligence, also known as SETI. We write in hopes of making contact with another sentient species. We understand that this message may be hard to interpret, so we will now relay what we call prime numbers as a universal show of intelligence. And so on and so on. Heh. <laughs> what fools we all were. Back then, we haphazardly sent English and Morse code alike without a regard for whether or not we would be understood. Not only that, but the fear of such messages being misinterpreted or alerting a potential aggressor to our presence was non-existent. Hopefully we don't pay for such mistakes with blood. But given how si silent the skies have been since then, I doubt that will be the case. What we can do, everyone, is change Seti's ways going forward. That message 50 years ago stood as a symbol of humanity's technological progress and a hope that we could meet like-minded beings across our galaxy. This hope still stands, but in our modern age, filled as it is with war, hatred, and misinformation. Yeah, quite unlike the 50s, right? <laughs> quite unlike the 40s or the 30s, or the 60s or the 70s. Now we are filled with war, hatred, and misinformation. We must become cognizant that such things likely aren't the sins of humanity alone. Extraterrestrials could be just as awful as us, everyone. And we've got the sole responsibility of making a first impression on them. Just as awful as us? You're starting off on the wrong foot, dude. So we better get it right. And that's it for today's morning debrief. You mean brief? Why are you debriefing in the morning? You haven't done anything. Time to get to your daily tasks, everyone. Except you, Laud. You fucking idiot. Get over here, you're late and I've had it. It took you damn long enough. Spent your sweet ass time cleaning your ears, huh? Say nothing, screw you, the boss was late. Or the bus was late. Not the boss. I was late. Um. So I think I, I kind of understand what's going on here. They're trying to give us like a, see, we're not that different from them. But they had like a rat head and a robot body, so. I think we're plenty different. Um. It's always better to say nothing. I'll have you know, Lod, what we do here is serious work. And we have no room for people who aren't serious about it. Listen, the grant that covers salaries for research assistants like you is up for renewal next month. Between the recession and war in Ukraine... What? What year did... What, when did this take place? <laughs> Uncle Sam is giving less and less money towards searching the stars. That's one way to... Mention America, I guess. Someone here must get on the chopping block sooner or later. And let's just say, slackers are first in line. Why would the war in Ukraine even come close to bugging us in terms of finances? 
So what does that ha I, I think you just want more money for yourself. You look evil enough. So get to it, Lod. Prove me wrong. Man, this is the kind of boss that I would destroy daily. You're on receiver duty for today. I moved the equipment into the room to the right. And this goes without saying, but don't mess this up. Even a deadbeat like you can handle the receipt. Like, I would have recorded this conversation and walked out of the room and completely destroyed the SETI. <laughs> there, would be, there would be no this place anymore. It's not like we, we had ever heard anything from it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what, what is the point of this? And get off the table. So my job is to, what, come here and listen to a radio for eight hours? That was your email. You should probably check it. Damn, man. What's up with this music in this game? It's just always banging. You take a look at your computer. Save game. Play games? View emails. You have one new email. Reading first email. To Laud from Millennia. Oh, it's my Betty. Hoping you didn't forget. I hate to use your work email like this, but you didn't say anything this morning, and I wanted to remind you it's our third year anniversary. I would love to do something special tonight. Winky happy face? We don't have to go out or anything. Maybe I can cook and you Venmo me for the ingredients in return. Hey, <laughs> hey. Let me know what you want me to make. Love, Millennia. Oh my god, it warms my heart. My cold, dark heart. What will you reply with? Steak, pasta, dumplings, tacos, meatloaf. Let's order out. Let's order out is such a terrible answer. Damn, she can make all this? Um... Right now, I'm in the mood for dumplings. Like, I could eat dumplings right now. I feel like steak is too much. And I've never had good pasta, so... I have, like, a bad relationship with pasta. Until someone introduces me to good pasta, I never pick pasta. Tacos, that's fine, but it just feels like it's too much right now. And meatloaf. Do I look like I shine in the summer? Let's go with dumplings. Your reply has been sent. I'm also white as fuck, so I do shine in the summer. Uh, let's play games. What was that about? What computer game would you like to play? Time is solid here. Fishy game clone. The scepter flies. Gods at gunpoint! The game is set in a twisted high school where everyone needs to kill one another. Made by Demo Satellite, you adore the art of this title. So I didn't actually play it. <laughs> but Gods at Gunpoint sounds awesome. Alright, let's work. This is the radio receiver. Time to go through your checklist, just like every other day. First, you must turn the receiver on. It produces a harsh hissing noise, as always. Next, you have to check the dials and buttons that control where the receiver is aimed. Surprisingly, everything is normal. It's not like someone would sneak in here at night and press all the buttons. Next, you must run a command in the terminal to pick up any outside signals of a certain frequency. Now, it's time to test those frequencies. 980 megahertz, nothing. 981, useless noise. It's looking like today's another boring day of listening to static. I would love this job. You're getting hungry. You can't stop thinking about dinner with Millennia tonight. You decide to get back to work. What was the next frequency to test? Must be 982 are coming to you. Was that a message? It sounded like they were speaking English, but they didn't sound human. Still, this must be some sort of prank, right? Or an accidental intercept from Earth. Our interceptors seem to be aimed and tuned correctly for outer space. The terminal was given the correct commands. What on Earth is going on? You decide to amplify the signal. 
I repeat, we are coming to you. This is XM0124 speaking. I am a resident of planet Alkia. I'll get to the point. Our planet Alkia is home to not one, but two sentient species. There's us, the Alkians, who are peaceful plant eaters. Then there's the whole. They live solely off eating us. So as you can imagine, finding a way to escape our planet has been a goal of ours for a long while. And now that we know that your planet can support life too, every single one of us wants nothing more than to set a spaceship in your direction. I am telling you this because unlike my superiors, I care about the potential inhabitants of a planet we will colonize, and wish no ill will towards the residents of Earth. At the same time, however, you will need to make way for our arrival. I am telling you all this beforehand because I do not wish for a galactic war between our species. I am of the opinion Alkia is vastly superior technologically than the residents of Earth. Though, this is just a guess. I have reason to believe that even a small-scale galactic war could result in the partial destruction of Earth. I should say that I do not wish for this to be taken as a threat. I want nothing more than for the residents of Earth and Alkia to prosper in tandem. In return for hosting our species, I believe we will be able to share some of our technology and knowledge with you all. This is, however, a stern warning. As it stands now, my species is coming to this Earth, whether its residents support such a measure or not. If any of you hear this message and wish to reply, our system should allow for instant communication via quantum teleportation. I am a lower class Alkian, so all I know about such a system is what I skimmed from records. I think it works by using quantum bits that have been entangled between our planet of yours that happen to be located near our radios. The bottom line is, we can now exchange information instantaneously. Just send a signal in my direction like you would any other, and our technology will do the rest. If you want to inquire about my species or negotiate, just reply using the same methods you would usually do. Let this fact stand, though. Us Alkians are coming, and we will heed to no one. That should be all. I will stay here and await a reply. Please take as much time to think as need be. What was that? Was it some sort of prank? The message seems to have no discernible source, which would make sense if it was sent via quantum teleportation, whatever that is. And the frequency is spot on for a wave that comes from hundreds of light years away. God, this is all real, isn't it? You are the first human to ever hear a message from outer space. What did the message even say? Alkia? Quantum teleportation? A potential space fleet flying towards Earth? None of this makes any sense. You begin to feel dizzy. Ahem. It looks like you fainted. Many hours have passed. It's nearly the end of the workday now. Falling asleep at your desk, hmm? Or more like falling onto your desk, I should say. Looks like you broke the receiver. Wow, okay. So we're the dumbest fucking person. I'm the fucking dumbest person. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's a shame because I thought I saw a wave come in. Must have been an errant signal, though. I know there's all sorts of jamming and shit coming in from space. Given the war in... U Listen, dude. Okay, I don't know what you think war in Ukraine is like, but there it has nothing to do with space. The only thing spacey about it is, I guess... What is it called? Starlink? The the internet? And that's, that's sub-orbit, I believe. Still... This is the exact type of behavior I was talking about this morning. Claude, you should go home and get some rest. Then come back tomorrow and never pull another stunt like this again. Got it? You have no idea what to say. I'll take that as a yes. Now, get out of here. I'll get a replacement receiver tonight. No, 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 wait, come back here, dude. I have to talk to you about what happened. Your head hit it quite hard when you fainted. What a stupid fucking thing to happen. 
Hey, don't forget, you gotta call me on speakerphone when you talk to the alien. I want to listen to it. It's really important to me. <laughs> Best millennia. Oh man, she's so cute. And she's amazing with a sword. Go get some sleep, Lod. And don't mess up like this again. Wait, man. <sighs> Whatever. Would you like to go home? No. What's over here? Hey, are you doing alright, Lod? I haven't heard from you all day, and your face doesn't look real good. Wait, I, I didn't mean it that way. Your face always looks good. Ugh, I'm so stupid. Please ignore me. I will. Oof, got word a signal came in, but you must have been asleep at the wheel. There's no other explanation. You got keyboard marks on your face. Were you laying on it all day? Alright, everybody at this organization is a piece of garbage. I'm going home. I'm going to eat some delicious dumplings. You take the bus to your apartment. God damn. <laughs> Home sweet home. I guess it's reminiscent of the radio tower, huh? Man, think about it. If the Alkians came down here, they sleep every so often, right? So humanity would just kind of be doing their thing, and I guess Alkians would take every graveyard shift forever. There's my babe. Hey, Lod. Are you ready for some dumplings? Fuck yeah. Found a pretty good recipe for them. You don't have the strength to say anything right now. Uh, come on, don't just stand there. I'm just as hungry as you probably are. Let's eat. You share a meal with Millennia. As good as it tastes, you are barely able to finish it. With what happened earlier today looming over you, the meal feels like a lead weight in your stomach. Melania seems to notice something is wrong. Listen, these three years really have been special. You make it worth it to live in this world, you know, despite everything. I want to make sure you know that. Lod, are you doing all right? A, a woman like you doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm kidding. You haven't said anything since you got here. It's work stuff. I don't want to talk. Yeah, that's, these are both things that I would say. Where's the third option of, I fucking spoke to an alien today. It's work stuff. Work stuff? Is that why you're acting so weird? Is it the head professor again? Elias, right? You spent so much time at work just for him to treat you like shit. If he did something to you, just let me know and I'll... I got a signal. Finally! What? What kind of signal? You mean a radio signal? From another planet? Are you serious right now? Listen, chill, okay? We've been together three years, so I thought I could trust you with this. You can't muster anything beyond nodding your head. Frick! This is crazy. Have you told anyone? Why didn't I find this out from the news? Because I broke it with my face. No way. You you haven't told anyone? Holy S word. Alright, whatever. Holy shit! So I'm the second person to know? <laughs> I must say, I'm honored, Laud. As long as this isn't some elaborate prank. What did they even say? The aliens, that is. Look, I always pride myself on being truthful. And to this day, I have not lied in a relationship, so let's not let's not start with this RPG Maker game. Tell the truth. You tell Millennia about Alkia, what you learned about its society, and XM0124. You talk about how it vowed to crush any potential resistance when Alkians make their eventual landing on Earth. Whoa. Knowing that, what do you think? You think they're actually going to come and take over Earth? If they're intelligent to communicate with us, they might as well take it. 
It's not like we're using our planet for anything good. If my girlfriend said this to me, I would stand up from the table and be like, You are stupid. <laughs> You are foolish. I, like, I hate even talking about this because it makes me... Like, it's the opposite of doomerism where I'm too optimistic, I guess. But we're a constantly evolving species. The things that we did that were awful 2,000 years ago, we no longer do to that same capacity. We've been learning for millions of years. We started with fucking sticks and stones, went to fire, then to tools, then to thought. Like, we started thinking about things, rationalizing. It's gonna be fine. With time, we get better. We don't get worse. Of course, you can you can sum up all of humanity with these negative things, but no one's talking about how everyone's living until they're 90 years old now. The advances in medicine and science and... Dude, we have the internet, and whether it's used for good or bad, it doesn't matter. We have it. And just like everything else, we'll learn to use it, and we'll get better with it. And we'll acclimate to it. Look, I'll say this much. I don't believe in doomerism. I don't think the world is worse now than any period before now. Like, in, in, in the grand timeline, at least of, of my country, because I know my country's history pretty well. To this day, we've been fighting the same war for over 21 years, and we call it the War on Terror. And the reason we call it that is because it's all-encompassing and vague. And I'm not dumb, I understand why they, they made it that way. It would keep it endless. It would keep it open, right? Before that, Desert Storm 30 years ago. The Vietnam War 50 years ago. You have the Korean War in the 50s. You have World War II in the 40s. World War I in the, in the 19... I believe it was 1916 to 1920. The Spanish-American War, another... 10 years before that? 20 years before that? The Civil War in the 1800s between, I think it was 1860 and 1870. So this doomerism, it bugs me. Because I, I feel like it's too easy. It's really easy to fall into this this habit of thinking that everything is awful right now. It's one, th it's one thing to say times are tough. It's another to say we're not using our planet for anything good. That is such a ridiculously disingenuous statement. I've never met one senior citizen who was like, man, you guys have it really tough now compared to how we had it. It's like, no, dude, we are living cozy. We're living quite all right. The only thing we have to worry about is the economy. We don't have to worry about not sharing a water fountain with another race. You know what I mean? 30 years ago, nobody even cared about ADHD. Nobody knew what the fuck it was. They just thought kids were stupid. They were born stupid. That was 30 years ago. We we are not older than when people didn't know about ADHD. And I mean that in the public school system, all right? I don't mean like medically. Like obviously people knew about ADHD. They just didn't know that kids had it and that's why they were failing classes. I don't know, man. I just think this is such a silly statement, that's all. Sorry for the rant. That's a joke. Oh, shut up! I didn't have- I didn't- you, You're telling me I didn't need to go through that whole thing? I still would've got mad, though. God, this is exciting, Lod. You're gonna be so famous. I don't care about that. <laughs> when are you going to tell your professor? Let's think about this, because I actually don't know if I want to tell them or not. Like, I do, but I'm scared of how we would react. We're telling them tomorrow. As awful as Elias is, I think that's the right call. You should keep me in the loop, too. Sorry, babe. Classified. I won't tell anyone else, I promise. God, this is so fascinating. Do you think they are more intelligent than us? More kind? Maybe even more thoughtful? And if so, would that mean that... Never mind that. I just realized you must be tired after all this. Sounds like it's been a long day. I'm just glad you believe me. Fuck. 
He really is the one. I'm so glad. Thank you for sharing this with me. Let's head to bed. It's been one hell of an anniversary. It's been like five minutes. Despite everything taking over your thoughts, you know Millennia's right. You need sleep more than anything else right now. You decide to call it a night. Maybe things will make more sense in the morning. At full HP. By some miracle, you manage to get some sleep. But you don't feel any better. You should probably talk to Millennium before heading to work. That's bullshit, I always feel better after sleeping. Hey, Lod, good morning. I'll be honest, since what you told me last night, I haven't been able to sleep. This other planet and the things and the beings on it, it's all I can think about. I feel like my whole world's been turned upside down. Gosh, I'm sorry, I probably sound like a total weirdo right now. It's just... Could you let me hear what it is saying if you reach out to Alkia today? All you would have to do is put me on speakerphone next to the radio. Please, even if it's just talking nonsense, I want to hear its voice. I would say no. IRL. And I think the reason why I would say no IRL is because... Um, I'd imagine that that would just get in the way. <laughs> like, listen, Millennia. The things that I say, the conversations that I have, could mean the difference between galactic warfare and a peaceful resolution. So I'm gonna just go ahead and not have you in that conversation. Um... But at the same time, I do, I do want her to hear it because I'd want somebody else to believe me. And I think in this case, personally, I would feel pretty selfish about it. And I'd be like, I need someone else to hear this so they could believe me because fuck, man. Um, but also, I don't want her get, I don't want to get her involved in something that might put her in danger because... Let's say she hears it, she's a witness, right? And this becomes a government thing where they'd want to, like, you know, shut down the whistleblowers, so to speak. Um. I'm gonna go with sure, because we're in this together. This is the third anniversary, you know? Really? Thank you, Lod. I love you. Why? Because I, I, I'm gonna introduce you to aliens? So it's decided, then. Just give me a ring when you contact them again. I promise you won't regret this. What does that mean? Uh, alright, I'm going to work. Whee! There's a hole in our apartment. Would you like to go to work? Yes. I'm not late. Laud, you're here bright and early. Unfortunately, our rotation still has you on receiver duty. You're lucky I was able to find one this morning. Already installed it. Well, get to it. The day is young. Now's your time to prove yourself worthy. Well, why wouldn't I just tell him now? I'm gonna save. I'm scared. Do I have any emails? Okay. Hesitantly, you turn the receiver on. It produces a harsh hissing noise. But this time it feels just a little more harsh. You take a deep breath. Better check the dials and buttons. Despite everything, they are still unchanged. Time for the terminal. Now it's time to set the frequency. But first, you have to call Millennia and put them on the speakerphone. See, this is what I mean. It's already getting in the way. Lord, is it time? God, I'm so excited. Alright, I'm gonna put you on mute, though. Like, you can't talk. We're the first to hear words from a society untouched by man. Shut up! 
I can't thank you enough for letting me in on this. If it understands this, could you let me talk to it over the phone? No! You wish you shared Millennia's excitement. All you feel is dread. Well, there's no going back. What was the frequency again? I think it was 982. What happened? Are we supposed to be hearing it now? Lot is something... ...is will be my final time repeating my message. Holy shit. That's the alien. Shut up! God damn it. See? Never involve your spouse in anything. The area I'm currently in is dangerous. I cannot stay here much longer. Still, I wanted to repeat my message one final time in hopes that a resident of Earth near the original broadcast location could reply. Reply, danger. Lot, it's reaching out to us. We gotta send a message back. Your workplace has a transmitter, right? Millennia's right. We do have a transmitter. It's included in the receiver. But is replying really the best call? This could all be some grand trick. But is it? XM0124 has been strangely upfront throughout this whole process. If you wanted to, you could run to the presses and sound the alarm on an Alkian invasion immediately. And sure, replying would give away our presence, but... XM0124 appears to know a lot about us already. You decide to go for it. God, if Elias would be mad that you didn't tell him about the signal, you can't imagine how mad he'd be if you reply without consulting anyone. But part of you wants to do this just to piss him off. You turn the receiver on. Don't talk for me! Oh, you fool! Alright. So she just wanted to be first. She wanted to beat me. She wanted to be the first to talk to an alien. Hello, XM0124. Are you there? You're taken aback by how eager Millennia is to talk... How eager Millennia is to talk to him over speakerphone. My goodness. I thought a reply would never come. Who is the speaking? Is this the transmitter of the original message? I'm not sure who you're talking about, but this is Millennia. I'm the partner of Lod, the person who first heard your message. I see. It is wonderful to hear your reply. XM0124, I was wondering, is there anything you could do to prove you really are a, you know, alien? Wow. Hang up, Lod. <laughs> Are you aware of the polynomial time versus non-polynomial time problem? You don't know what it is talking about. Yes, I do. It's a famous computer science problem. Okay, so she's a genius. All right, get her in here. That's fine. It tries to prove that every problem whose solution can be verified in polynomial time can also be solved in polynomial time. No one has ever been able to solve it. Give me one moment. This is, uh, this is zeros and ones, which translates to words. And I'm hoping that they do that for me. What on earth is that sound? My apologies, I know that message was inscrutable to you. But if you look at the spe spectrograph, it will translate into a simple machine level algorithm that solves the aforementioned problem. While no one on your planet has solved it on Alkia, such a problem is so trite that even commoners like me know its solution. You have no idea what XM0124 is talking about, but you decide to believe it. We get- we can get proof for that later. For now, though, I'll believe you. So, XM0... That's his new name. His new name is 124. Could you tell us about yourself? Like, for example, what do you look like? I've never really thought how I would describe myself to another species. Half hamster, half robot. Hmm... I guess I have a pointed face, ending on a snout with a red nose. I have big, circular ears, one of which is green and the other light red. And I have two antennae that sprout from those ears. I also have big eyes and a big mouth too, I believe it. My lower body is encased in a robotic exoskeleton that's colored blue to reflect my XM0 rank. My shoulders have an orange hint, while my other joints are light blue. You begin to picture what XM0124 looks like in your mind. Was that description good enough for you? <laughs> yeah. It was great. Is there anything you would like to ask us? Well, as I said before, it is dangerous here, so I can't stay long. But now I'm curious. 
What do you and your partner look like? A lot. We should try and describe each other. Mel Melania goes on to give a detailed description of you, carefully worded in a way to allow a being from a different planet to understand. Now it's your turn, Maud. This is all so strange. What will you say? Give a normal description. They are cute. They are ugly. I mean, this is no time to be saying they are cute, you know? Like, I'm not trying to win any points with the woman I've been with for three years already. So I'm going to give a normal description. You describe millennia as best as you can, trying to imagine what another species would imagine they look like. Moving on. You bitch! You really wanted me to say you're cute? Are you kidding me? I would never be with this woman. Never. It's impossible. I know time is of the essence, 124, so it won't keep you for too long. Still, I must ask, could you tell us a bit about your society? Hmm. As for Alkian society, I am optimistic about it. I'll give you a general overview. First, you will need to tell me a little bit about your society, otherwise it will be hard to explain what mine is like in comparison to yours. I can do that. Again, Millennia seems really eager to talk. Wasn't this supposed to be a conversation between you and the alien? Us residents of Earth, we call ourselves humans. And since the very first humans walked this Earth... Oh, fuck. She's gonna get us killed. She's gonna say all the bad things because she's a doomer. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I doomed humanity. And since the very first humans walked this Earth, we have been at each other's throats. Societal progress comes when we try and seek out comfort, but this comfort often comes at the expense of others. What a bitch. We invented slavery, the taking away of freedom from other humans. We're the only species capable of genocide, an attempt to completely wipe out specific members of our society. And though some say our lives are better than they used to be, the technolo technologies <laughs> and comforts that made it that way mostly came about through war. Yeah, we wouldn't have penicillin. War, I should add, is a truly awful thing. It's when humans try and kill and maim each other. In recent times, things have gotten even worse. No, they haven't! Humans hate other humans more than ever. A great virus killed many of our species. A new war just broke out. And on and on. This is all isn't to say that there's no hope for humanity, really. There are optimistic people out there. My little sister was one of them. Was? Laud, too, is positive about things. I guess relative to you. But I just can't see this any other way. You're not sure what to make of Millennia's thoughts on human society. Will you say anything? Stay quiet. Millennia's wrong. Millennia's right. She's not wrong, but it doesn't necessarily mean she's right. Okay? And I refuse to stay quiet. I've had enough of this wench speaking for humanity and making us all look bad, okay? God damn it. We also have sculptures. I just know people aren't gonna agree with me, but she's fucking wrong, man. Knowing that, I will describe my society in a human context. Us Alkians are all organized into different ca castes. Yes. There's the XMOs, which do dirty work, mining, agriculture, or any odd jobs that require a lot of manpower. We are often sent on tasks where a high mortality rate is expected. Gee, I wonder, I wonder if uh, that's how it is now in the world. You could argue that yes it is. Then there's the 001 classes, who do grunt-level work. They operate equipment, survey the land for the whole, who try, to in who try and eat us. Those kinds of tasks. As for the 002s, I don't see them very often. That is because they are the servant class who work directly under 003s. They prepare technology, deliver objects, and check up on our planet's highest classes. Speaking of them, 003s are the leaders of Alkia. They are made up of unit managers and scientists. They serve as our leaders for nearly every facet of life and drive forward societal progress. When compared to Earth, I will say that Alkia seems less divided. We 
we are all united against the whole, it seems. Goals generally are shared by our entire species. Yeah, because you're in you're going through a war. A world war. <laughs> We've had those, and when we had those, we all teamed up. Enemies weren't necessarily enemies at that time. The enemy of my enemy is my friend type stuff. In the rare case where an Alkian wishes harm upon another, they are sundowned. I am suffering from a little bit of amnesia at the moment, so I can't recall what sundowning means, but I don't think it's good. That should be all. I should probably head back to my unit manager soon. Thank you, XM0124. Just one more thing. Do you feel like Alkian society is more righteous than ours? Just one more thing. Do you feel like Alkian society is more righteous than ours? I don't think they're any more or less righteous than ours. Because we both seem to have the same struggle just from different sources. They're united against one enemy. You know? One great enemy. And in, in, in that regard, I think that their righteousness and our righteousness, like, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter, Millennia. The guy's half machine. Okay? And their names have their rank in them. You can't ask them about morality or righteousness. Uh, I would say that I don't know. Because I really don't know. I don't think we are or aren't. Um, because if the roles were reversed and humanity was being eaten by the whole, and if we did have more or better technology than the Alkians, we would probably give them, give them the same, uh, message, which is, look, we're gonna go there and we're gonna land, whether you like it or not, and we will fucking destroy all of you, whether you like it or not, if you put up a resistance. We would do the same exact thing. So, no... I don't think it's more righteous than than Earth, Earth society, but I don't think it's less righteous. Well, you know what? I'm going to say no, because I don't think it's more righteous. Not that I don't know. I know for a fact that it's not more righteous than humanity. I see. Well, I won't hold you any longer. Thank you for talking with us, XM0124. The transmission ends. You have no idea what to make of recent events. These humans strike you as a strange bunch. Your unit manager has likely been awaiting your return for a while. You should probably head back soon so nobody else gets sent to this awful tower. God damn. Alright. You should probably take the radio transmitter. It's what you came all the way here for, after all. You were originally sent here to retrieve it and bring it back to your unit manager. To think. All of this happened just because of a small box of electronics. You take the transmitter. This is bad for us, isn't it? Are there more bodies? I guess not. Would you like to exit back to the front? Yeah. <laughs> If I don't have to run through enemies, that'd be great. Attention! XM2483, XM2159. This is XM0124. He is the first Alkian to emerge from this tower alive. And as you can see, he has the radio equipment in tow. XM3009! Pats you on the back. You did well, soldier. Well, tell me, did you hear anything up there? On the radio? Why do you ask? Lie, tell the truth. But tell the truth. You tell XM3009 that you heard a signal from planet Earth. I see, you're telling the truth. Don't act surprised. I put a recording device on you the instant the plan to send you to the tower was set in motion. The work we do there is too important to leave in the hands of a 00 class alone. I hope you don't mind, but in the end, it turned out well. Now I know about Earth and can start planning our escape to it with the other 003s. And for this, we have nobody to thank but you. In turn, I came here with my 002 cohorts to give you an offer. 
I want to take you down to our command post and for the first time in Alkian history, make a 00 into a 003. You'll get to present my colleagues with the radio itself and live like a king for the rest of time. Your contribution to our race cannot be understated after all. So, XM double, sorry, XM0124, what do you say? You're about to see what your kind can only ever dream of. Why would I refuse this? Because I'll lose my... Because I'll, 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 for, I'll forget where I came from, I guess? No, I'll go. Wonderful. Let's go. I'm about to get promoted. This is it. One of Alkia's crown jewels. Command post 17. It should be an honor, 124. Not just for you, but for the triple zero classes everywhere. Well, no more dilly-dallying. Let's go. Welcome, 124. Feel free to take some time to look around. You should soak in the scenery. When you're done, you'll find us down the hallway, which you can get to by either going right or left. There, the promotion ceremony will begin. Enjoy the scenery. There's just crates in the middle of a room. There's nothing in here. Please don't bother me. Triple zero class. I have important activities to attend to. Please don't bother me. Okay, so nobody wants to talk to me. Got it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The story leads to the command post laboratories. A class like you is not allowed here. Great. Okay. Let's try and find a PC, dude. We've learned quite a bit. And this game is, like, strangely alluring. Because I want to know what happens next. Let's save. Hello. Something. Please use the computer next to the door to confirm your identity and I'll let you pass. We can't have any triple class just wander in here, you know. You let your eyes be scanned by the computer. Identity confirmed. Thank you for confirming your identity. I'll be on my way. You are allowed to pass. Attention! All those. This is 124, Alkia's new hero. I listened in on him with my own two ears as he braved the hole and reclaimed our precious radio. Does that mean they heard the entire um, exchange between like us and 124? Then, in a great stroke of luck, he was there in time to hear the first ever signal from a habitable planet. This planet is called Earth, and from what I hear talking about it, it's ripe for our taking. Now. Our XMO-124 had a chance to reply to these beings of that planet. I'd heard him proclaim that Alkia is sending a fleet to Earth. Very honest, but a little blunt, I must say. And when XMO-124 was asked if Alkia is more righteous than Earth, he said no. What a shame. Nevertheless, your actions, 124, have led us to what our species have been seeking out for years. And for that, you deserve. What the hell is happening? The lights just came off. Shit. It's a hole attack. And right when there's a dark cloud... Oh, fuck. Outside. Look at that thing, dude. How did he get up here so fast? Run! How did you die? Oh! Okay, alright. We gotta run right away. Jesus, man. What, 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 Do I want to go up? I have a feeling I want to go up. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. In here. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a key card, right? Go! Fuck me. Am I going on the spaceship? 
Uh, hello? I'm the queen of the hole. You can understand what it is saying now. That's right, you're still wearing the earpiece auto-translator from before. I see. In your eyes there is the light of understanding. That is good, we may continue. XM0124, that is your name, no? Well, XM0124, you are the first of your kind that I have talked to. It is because I sense that you hold great influence. Influence large enough to decide the fates of Alkians, the fates of my kind, and the fates of the Earthlings alike. How do you know about them? Yes, I am aware of Earth as well. I heard everything from your radio. I will start with this. I know that my race is a barbaric one. We have certainly killed countless Alkians, but we had no other choice to survive. Nothing else can sustain us but your flesh. This is not out of lack of trying. Those periods where few whole attacks occur is when I make us try to explore other sustenance. Every single time, however, this is in vain. No other food can sustain us. This is why you name yourselves after our planet? While we are deemed the miserable whole? Plants, I should say, feel pain too. They do such with chemical signal, and through your early genetic engineering efforts, you drove many of their species to extinction. This is something even we haven't done. I do not wish to dwell on this for long. In truth, I make my appearance now to give you an offer. As said before, I know that what we do is barbaric. I am willing to only have a trace amount of progeny, effectively culling my own kind. This can be sustained by us only eating your criminals. These Alkians who are, are those who are sundowned, forced outside in the night where we roam. In return, however, I will need your kind to stay on this planet. With all of you gone to Earth, my race cannot continue. I know it is near impossible for you to see my side. After all, you have nearly died at the hands of my sons. But this is a means to have no one share that fate. At least no one of moral character. This generation of whole is large in number. I worry that, unless I cull them, many more of you will die. So, MXO124, what will you choose? What the fuck? This is such a difficult choice to make. If I say I accept, we don't leave the planet, we don't go to Earth. And Earth is fine. Earth is okay. But accepting means that this planet will deal with its own issues by itself. It won't have to leave. Now here's the other thing. If if you don't give enough criminals, you're just putting yourself in harm's way, right? Like there's only so much you can feed. Especially when when you're in this this society that's rank and file, you know? It's it's like it doesn't happen often that someone disobeys orders. So for someone to be sundowned, the only thing that will happen is that there's going to be some kind of like internal hierarchy struggle within this alien race, the Alkians. And they'll just send people to die that they don't agree with. And then guess what? Earth is still better. So I refuse because I'd rather these two species. Like the Alkians only eat plants, right? They won't be fucking up humanity for no reason. There's plenty of plants on Earth. There's plenty. There's also plenty of land. But that's not for me to decide either, is it? I still want to go with I Refuse. How could you, uh, how could you accept this? Like, it, it's, it's essentially being okay with being 
subservient to another group and knowing that you have to pick and choose people to be eaten in order to coexist on this planet. I'd rather take my chances. Like if I was him, I would I would rather take my chances on Earth. Despite how weird they are, they wouldn't eat me. They might shoot me, but they wouldn't eat me. I refuse. You are lucky that I am ashamed. Ashamed at my own want to eat you alive. For you have made a grave mistake. The next time I see you, I will kill you. A terminal worth to life next to the control pad. It is now daytime. Prior detected whether anomalies have been normalized. Free passage granted. Would you like to disengage the airlock? Yes. And let's save. What a strange fucking game. Everyone else who knew about Earth's existence is now dead, or a hole. You need to get back to the radio. Walk back to the radio tower? A triple O class, what are you doing here? There aren't any hole in there anymore, it looks like they left for somewhere else during the cloud. Whatever. The place has been destroyed anyway, explore to your heart's content. I got more important things to do besides just standing here. Yeah. You put the radio transmitter back. It's giving a familiar static. Looks like it works. You wonder how long the existence of the Earth will be kept secret. This could be the last chance to say something to humanity. Before the rest of Alkia is aware. You decide it would be best to put this in terms of what would be... What would do the most good for Alkia. One, on one hand, leaving for Earth would give us all a shot at a life free from predators. And the residents of that planet seem rife with division. They aren't even grateful for the land they live on. However, humanity could launch a resistance. Even if we win a galactic war against them, we will both undoubtedly suffer heavy losses. On the other hand, living here would rule out a conflict with the humans. Alkian society may have problems too. Can we really say that we deserve the Earth more than them? No. Also, according to Millennia, Earth doesn't even sound like that great of a place to live. However, you didn't make a deal with the whole Queen. It is unlikely that the predation of your species will slow down. What will you say? I would say we leave. If I was... Look, if I was an Alkian, and I cared about my species... Like, if I just cared about my people, I would leave, and I would take my chances elsewhere. This planet is fucking crazy. And, like, let's be real. We can go to Earth, wait, like, a hundred years, and come back. They would all be starved to death, and then this would be our planet again, right? Like, it's really not... Like, if you have the technology to make it to Earth, wouldn't you also have the technology to, like, I don't know... Put some sleeping pods in a ship and live in the spaceship for like 30 years or something like that. I doubt the whole can live for 30 years. Unless they ate themselves, I guess. I don't know. I say we leave. You voiced your response into the radio. 12 hours earlier. I think that was it. But now I can't stop thinking. Odd, could you keep me on the line? I just want to wait here in case 124 replies again. You decide to do what Millennia wants. I fucking hate that I let her talk. I should never let her involve, get involved. You wait in front of the radio for an entire workday, anxiously awaiting anything from Alkia. Eventually, you hang up with Millennia. But not before they urge you to keep the communications with 124 a complete secret. Why? Ahem. Hard at work, I see. Don't act like I don't see that cell phone in your hand. Look, this is the second day in a row where a signal got logged while you're on receiver duty. That can't be a coincidence. Now you're going to show me the data of these signals, or I'm going to have to ask you to leave and never come back. Your choice. 
I have no idea why you're being so cagey. Tell him the truth or quickly delete the data? If I tell him the truth, this whole thing would be out of my hands. It would just be, it, was be, it would be done. I don't think I would be allowed to talk on the radio again. If I delete the data, I will never come back. And I guess chances are I probably won't be... Like, the message of them coming here would be lost, at worst, or picked up by someone who has no idea what the fuck is going on, and it would be deemed as an invasion. So I think it's better to tell the truth in this instance than to delete the data. You tell him about the message from Alkia about 124 and the possibility of an invasion. Is this some sort of joke? Let me see the data. It can't be. All the parameters are in order. This looks to be a genuine message from outer space. My god, Lod, you've actually done it. I'll send this data to my superiors immediately for confirmation. Odd, oh, this changes everything. You will become famous, we all will. But that's the least of our concerns right now. Humanity needs to figure out what to do in response to this message. I have some phone calls to make. You and Elias spent the rest of the day with his superiors trying to confirm the validity of the messages. In the end, you all found that they were certainly alien in origin. Elias' superiors decide to make the announcement to the public tomorrow and spend the rest of the night drafting what to say and alerting world governments. Eventually, you have nothing to do left to do but take a bus back to your apartment. And we have to tell Millennia that we didn't keep it a secret. So she's not going to be happy with us. Man, it sucks. I really, sh I really, really shouldn't have involved her. Looks like it's another rainy night. Yeah, she's seeing it over there. The TV is tuned to the news. This is Channel 30 with a breaking news report. As we reported on earlier, the Polish city of Med Medica... Medica? ...was accidentally struck by a Russian missile this morning. Jesus Christ. Recent counts have the death toll at over 300, many of which were refugees from the Russo-Ukraine War. In a press conference, Russian pre this is what like at least use different names. <laughs> President Putin has refused to take responsibility for the deadly mistake and denied demands to send aid across the border. Even Biden like this is literally happening right now. Just now President Biden has signed for the immediate deployment of 100,000 troops to the Russian border to bolster the growing forces of NATO. They stand together with 30,000 troops pledged by Germany and are you hearing this? World War III has essentially begun. It, it's hardly a world war at all. It's one country so far. One versus all of NATO. It's like 30 to 1. Who supports this? I don't support it. You don't support it. Nobody supports it. Is this really the only solution? I think so. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I don't think it's the only solution. But as a but I, I I don't I'm not aware of anybody who has a better one. You know, like it's so easy to be like, let's just not do it. But it's like, okay, we tried that and now look where we are. So what what's the what's the solution now to just keep not doing anything until all of it is just wiped off the map? What 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 is the right solution? Um in that regard, I think it's the only solution. It's like, shit, I mean, if, if it's gonna happen, at, let's at least be first. But... I also don't think it's the only solution. I just feel like we don't have the time to think of a proper one. The longer we wait, the worse it gets. I don't think so. Then I guess we'll just kill ourselves on this rock floating in space over nothing. Well, it's not nothing, okay? They're fighting over geography. They're fighting over advantageous positions in terms of 
you know, where they are in the world. Or you and I might die over something we have no part of. Um, I believe it would just be me that dies, okay? You would not be doing much of anything. Humanity is fucked, I'm telling you, it's fucked. Russia has enough nuclear missiles to destroy half the planet. We have enough to destroy the other half. Um, I guess. What happens after something like that? You think all this will get better soon? It will. You really think it will get better even after all this? Yes! 100,000 American troops are starting to head out today. The whole world is going to enter into this world. Into this war. Yeah, but it's not, it's not like 50 versus 50, okay? It's like 30 countries versus one so far. Or I guess two, really. But really only one. I guess there is something we can do. You have a feeling where this is going. It's the Alkians. We can ask them to come. Their kind would help this planet. They might have some problems, but they are structured and they work together to build towards the greater good. They are not better than us. Humans can do that too. Absolutely. We have hierarchies in every facet of life. In any conceivable thing you can think of, there's a hierarchy. We already do it. Um, humans can do that too. How? At this rate, we may never have a chance to figure it all out. Maybe you can try reaching out to them again. Maybe tell them about the war starting here. We could use their help, now more than ever. Do you think you can reach out to them again? Like, I don't know if I want to alert our potential enemies of the fact that we're fighting other people, so, like, just come in and annihilate us both, you know? Like, I don't know if I want to do that. But at the same time, I can tell them about what's going on. I just don't know if the person I'll, I'll be talking to is deceiving me anymore. I mean, whatever. I can try. Good. Wait, you haven't told the head professor yet. Please tell me you haven't. He will definitely try to stop any more contact without his supervision. And tell world leaders about it, who will start to prepare for yet another war, but this time against Alkia. All of this would be for nothing. Please tell me you haven't spoken about this, right? I have. I can't believe it. We just lost our only hope for a better Earth. Laud, you've ruined everything. Get out. I never want to see you again. That feeling is mutual, Doomer. Fucking later. Without a word, you slip into the night. It isn't worth arguing with Millennia anyway. There's a night bus that heads towards the university, and you get on it just in time. Hopefully everyone will have left by now, and you can still access the radio. Because now, you know what you must do. Hell yeah. It must be so late that everyone, even Elias, is gone. You're lucky you still have your key. Tippy tappy, tippy tappy. Let's save. Hesitantly, you turn the receiver on. You're surprised it works, but why wouldn't it? You go through the startup routine as always. Alkians. You happen to get here right as XM0124 was relaying a message. Alkians should leave this planet. You say something in response. We don't need you here. But like to say we don't need you here is stupid. They are going to come here whether they they want us to or not. We should we should hope that their first their first impression of us is that we can help each other. So I'm going to say we need you here. XM0124, we we need you here on Earth. What will you say in response? I agree. We need to get the fuck out of here too. Maybe in this moment, it's best to tell him something about humanity. What will you tell him about your species? An explanation of World War III. The beauty of humankind. The good and the bad. Ugh. 
absolutely the good and the bad, but how much time do we have? Uh, the good and the bad. XM0124. Humanity is neither purely good nor purely evil. We have our problems, sure, but we have done so many wonderful things in our short time here. 10,000 years ago, we were no different from apes, but now I have a device in my pocket that can connect me to everyone in the world. We have built awe-inspiring works of art, founded systems that try to keep everyone fed and housed, banded together as one to form societies and become bigger than the sum of our parts. Even just in my day-to-day -day life, I see people hold the door for each other and forgive mistakes and embrace one another in love. This is what it means to be human. No matter what happens, I won't forget that. At the same time, though, these advances have been utilized for bad just as often as good. The comforts we attained have came at the cost of our environment and the livelihood of poorer countries. Even the art we make can oftentimes be used to demean or hurt others. And it looks like humanity's collective hatred is coming to a head. The entire world is being dragged into war. Even still, I have some hope. XM0124, there's only one question on my mind now. Do you think two beings, diametrically opposed, can they ever learn to live as one? You think about Lod's question for a long while. You don't know in what sense they mean. Are they talking about us and them? Lot and Millennia? Alkins in the whole? The question remains. Is cohabitation possible? It depends on what you're willing to compromise. As an Alkian, I'm not willing to, to compromise my own people to the whole. For them to feed on them. You know what I mean? Like, that's a very different compromise from one on Earth. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say yes. He voiced a response into the radio and shut it off. Both of you know that all you- all that you need to- Both of you know all that you need to at this point. The answer to Lod's question. It has already been made apparent. one fateful day, the Alkians, having learned of the planet known as Earth, choose to gather themselves and pre prepare a fleet of spacecraft to find a new place for themselves, free from the hole. XM0124 is hailed as a hero, the savior of Alkia. Though they must leave their home world, there is a great excitement among the Alkians who are ready and willing to explore a planet that would free them from a curse they have suffered under since their conception. As the last of the Alkian spaceships escape the desert winds of their home planet, XM0124 looks out toward the place he once called home. Through a window of shielded glass, he watches it shrink further and further away. On Earth, a temporary ceasefire occurs between all the nations of the planet, who are now faced with the knowledge of an incoming alien species. President Biden and President Putin join together with President Z to lead the world's first Congress of Earth's Nations on the upcoming arrival, Lot is awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for the research that would invertedly lead to halting World War III. Despite protests from millennia and others who believe the Alkins should save humanity or replace it, US, China, and Russia agree to build a coalition space force in preparation for the Alkian arrival. Four centuries later, Alkian warships are the first spotted in the atmosphere. With forces on high alert, 200 nuclear missiles are instantly discharged into space. Most of Alkia's scout ships, as well as several other large cruisers, are destroyed. The Alkian fleet responds by launching hypersonic missiles towards Earth. Multiple cities are destroyed on the spot and in uninhabitable. They barrage each other, exchange of fire. Fleet are forced to return back to their homeworld, furious and decimated. Zero XM124 is pissed. He's probably not happy about that. Directed by Algebra Falcon. So humanity won? <laughs> so, uh... Humanity came together? We did it? I wonder what would happen if we don't say anything. If we don't say... If we don't tell the professor anything. Alright, so now we, uh, we don't tell him.
Quickly delete the data. After whispering a message into the transmitter to never reply again, you use the terminal to wipe all data from the last two days. What the fuck did you just do? The data, it's gone. Why would you do such a thing? Have you gone insane? Were those signals our first contact? I guess we'll never know. All because I set a lunatic to work on the transmitter. Damn this all to hell. Get out, I never want to see you again. You can't fire me like that. You gonna pay the rest of my two weeks off? Hmm? I'll come back in tomorrow. Please tell me you haven't spoken about this, right? I haven't. Good. Earth still has hope. Please try and get the Alkins to come. It's our only hope to stop this madness. They deserve this planet more than we do anyway. Oh my god, what a... What an... What an idiot you are. You're a terrible... If you don't like it, leave! <laughs> it's real, it's real, real strange of you to say that from the comfort of your own couch. In your beautiful apartment. Your one bed, one bath. After staying up for a few more anxious hours, you and Millennia decide to go to bed. Because of their all-nighter yesterday, they fall asleep surprisingly fast. After some thinking, you decide to slip out into the apartment without waking them up. There's a night bus that heads towards the university, and you get on it just in time. Hopefully everyone will have left by now, and you can still access the radio. Because now, you know what you must do. Alkians. Alkians should leave this planet. You should say something in response. We need you here. What will you say in response? I don't think you do need us there. I would disagree. Maybe in this moment it's best to tell him something about humanity. What will you tell him about your species? The good and the bad, baby. Yeah, we already, we already read this. You think two beings diametrically opposed, can they ever learn to live as one? Yes. You voice your response into the radio and shut it off. Both of you know all that you need to at this point. The answer to Lod's question. It has already been made apparent. What if it's the same no matter what? Like the eight endings are a lie. That'd be cruel, but I would understand it. So, they learn about Earth, they leave. He's hailed as a hero. And, uh... Yeah, he looks through the window. The planet shrinks as they get further and further away. A temporary ceasefire occurs between all the nations of the planet who are now faced with the knowledge of an incoming alien species. How? Lot is awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for the research that will would invertedly lead to halting World War III. But how can this be? I changed so many things. I didn't tell anybody. All the ships are destroyed. Everything is fucked. So is there just no... there's no changing this at all? Alright, so I don't know if I necessarily agree with, uh... that ending. Because <laughs> it, it, it doesn't make sense that, uh... the world would know about the... incoming Alkians if... Lod never told anybody about it. Maybe if I'd never told even Millennia about it, maybe? I don't know. But either way, it should have been different. <laughs> At least I think so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop there, though, guys, because I've been playing for two and a half hours. Uh, it's been a lot of raiding. I could feel it in my throat that I need to drink some water soon or I'm going to die. So I can't even say this was really a horror game except for like 10 minutes of being in that tower. <laughs> that was pretty scary. Um, I guess the rest of it is really more existential. It's like existential horror, really, or... I don't even know what to say about it. It's like topical. So, like, saying the wrong thing is really easy right now. If you guys want to get the other endings, or try to get the other endings and... You know, download it and play it, it's free on Itch.io. I'll link in the description. But as for me... I think I'm done for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you liked the video. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.